for the default button. Closing dialog. Okay, we're gonna get right back to the voiceover quick start. Voiceover quick getting stuck quick start. Welcome back. Welcome back to the voiceover quick start. To resume where you left off, press the right arrow key. To start at the beginning, press the left arrow key. I just changed the voice for part two just to be fun. Um, so now we're using the princess voice and she's cute, so right arrow. Interacting with elements. Some elements on screen can contain other elements. VoiceOver simplifies navigation by moving only to these top level elements, such as text areas, toolbars, tables, or controls. When you hear an element of interest, you can stop and interact with it. For example, interact with the toolbar to explore its tools, or with the control to change its setting. When you interact with an element, you navigate only within its boundaries until you stop interacting. To start interacting with an element, press the O shift down arrow. To navigate within the element, use the O and the arrow keys. To stop interacting with it, press the O shift up arrow. Use voiceover now to interact with the toolbar in the practice area below. When you're done, navigate to the continue or go back button. Then press the O space bar to select it. Okay. Voiceover on. Voiceover quick start. Window interacting with elements. Text interacting with elements. Okay. Text toolbar. Quick button. Go back. Continue button. Go back with toolbar. Text toolbar. Let's interact with it. Interact with toolbar. New message. New note. New total. Colors button. Colors button. Stop interacting with toolbar. So I I used um control. Um. You are currently that? control option shift down arrow to interact, and then I used up arrow to stop interrupting. Quit but go back but continue button. Now, if anyone can't understand this voice, please let me know. You are I, currently Because I will redo this if I have to. I thought it would be nice to have a different voice, because in every single tutorial, they use the default voice. Navigating in tables. When you interact with tables in text documents and web pages, you navigate vertically and horizontally using the arrow keys in voiceover navigation commands you have already learned. VoiceOver provides additional commands for reading tables by column, row, or cell. To read a table column, press VOCC. To read a row, press VOR. To read a column header, VOC. Use VoiceOver now to explore the table in the practice area below. When you're done, select the continue or go back button. VoiceOver on. VoiceOver quick start. Window navigating in tables. Table 1 row selected. Index 14. Language. Korean. Character count 6. Row 14 of 14. Has keyboard focus. Okay, let's try interaction with this table. Quick. Table 1 row selected. Interact with table. Row 14 of 13. 12. Language. Finnish. Chinese. Finnish. Danish. Norwegian. Swedish. Dutch. Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, German, French, Japanese, English, English. Character count, index, language, character, index, three. Stop interacting with table, one row selected, index, three, language, quit, go back, continue, button. Okay. Selecting a date and time to change a value in a date or time field you're interacting with. Press the O up arrow or the O down arrow. To move to the next or previous field, press the O right arrow or the O left arrow. Use voiceover now to select a date and time in the practice area below. When you're done, select the continue or go back button. Voiceover on. Voiceover quick start. Window selecting a date and time. February 12, 1982. Date has keyboard focus. Enter a time. 11 a.m. time. Enter a 11 a.m. time. 
Red, go back, continue button. Let's continue. I think we might be towards the end. Red. Using steppers. Steppers are on screen controls for increasing or decreasing the value of a numeric setting. To use a stepper, first interact with it. Then to increase the value, press the O up arrow. To decrease the value, press the O down arrow. Use voiceover now to practice using the steppers below. When you're done, select the continue or go, go back, back button. button. 25, 8, edit text content selected, confirm, 25, 8, edit text stepper, number of, step 25, 8, edit text, interact with edit text, stop interacting with edit text, number of children, 0, number of children, edit text content selected, this doesn't seem like a stepper, I don't know, anyway, let's continue, stepper, quit, go back, continue, button, oh, go quit, right. stepper, Interact with stepper. And we maintain it. Deck we maintain it. And we maintain it. Alright, I give up. Stop interacting with stepper. Okay, let's continue. Quit, go back, continue. Yeah, you're getting to the end. Using the dark. The dark has a collection of icons along the edge of the screen that makes it easy to open your favorite applications, such as Mail, Safari, and iTunes. You can open applications using Finder or Spotlight. To, to navigate to the dark, press the O D. To move from one icon to another in the dark, press the O left arrow or the O right arrow. To open the application whose icon is in the voiceover cursor, press the O space bar, select the continue or go back button. Using the menu bar, Application menus are located in the menu bar across the top edge of the screen. The menus change to match the active application, but typically include File, Edit, Format, Window, and Help menus. The Apple menu, at the left end of the menu bar, is always available. At the right end of the menu bar is the Spotlight menu. Use Spotlight to search your computer for documents, music, and more. You can search for an application and open it from Spotlight. To the left of the Spotlight menu are other items, such as the Universal Access menu, depending on your computer and settings. To navigate to the menu bar, press VOM. To jump directly to Spotlight, press VOMMM. To navigate in the menu bar, Press the left arrow or right arrow key. Select the continue or go back button. Okay. Let's hit right arrow to continue. Navigating web pages. You can easily navigate a web page using voiceover commands you've already learned, such as VO right arrow, VO left arrow, VO up arrow, and VO down arrow. Select the continue or go back button. Using the web item roller. You can quickly navigate web pages using the voiceover web item roller. The web item roller displays common items on web pages, such as links and headers, in separate lists. Choose a list and then select an item in the list to jump to that item on the web page. To open the web item roller, press the OU. To move through the lists, press the right or left arrow key. To navigate to an occurrence of an item, such as a link on the web page, press the up arrow or down arrow key. Select the continue or go back button. Using auto web spots, voiceover provides an alternate way to browse web pages based on their visual layout. When a web page opens, voiceover identifies key elements that represent related items on the page and automatically creates virtual tags called web spots to mark them to jump to the next or previous auto web spot press the o command n or the o command shift n when you hear one of interest use general navigation keys to hear the related items to move to the item before or after an auto web spot Press the O right arrow key or the O left arrow key. Select the continue or go back button. Practicing web page navigation. Use voiceover now to navigate web pages in the practice area below. 
you can use Leo and the arrow keys, the web icon roller, and all the web spots. When you're done, select the continue or go back button. I won't bother with that because I showed you. Voice over on. Voice over quick start. Window. Practicing web page navigation. HTML content has a keyboard focus. I won't bother with that because I think, um, if you saw my video, um, what's it called? Browsing the internet with voiceover. I think I covered um some of that stuff like web page navigation. Quick, go back, go back, but continue, go back, continue button. Using a multi touch trackpad, voiceover has detected a multi touch trackpad on this computer. You may find it easier to control voiceover using gestures in addition to voiceover commands. With the voiceover trackpad commander enabled, the surface of the multi-touch trackpad represents the current window, document, or other area. Drag your finger across the trackpad and the voiceover cursor moves across the area on the screen. Tap an edge of the trackpad and the cursor moves to that edge of the area on the screen. You can also flick right or left to move the voiceover cursor to the next or previous item. Voiceover plays a sound effect when you land on a blank space, and another sound effect when you drag your finger across item boundaries. Select the continue or go back button. Practicing trackpad gestures. Use voiceover gestures now to navigate the web pages in the practice area below. Enable voiceover gestures by pressing the VO keys and rotating two fingers clockwise on the trackpad. To move to the next or previous item, flick right or left. To start or stop interacting with the current item, flick two fingers right or left. To select the current item, double tap. When you're done, disable voiceover gestures by pressing the VO keys and rotating two fingers counterclockwise on the trackpad, then select the continue or go back button. Voice over on. Voice over. We're not gonna try that. Cause that kind of a feature kind of scares me in a way, because I always mess it up when I want to turn it off. Quick button. Go back button. Continue button. Voice over review. Take time now to review the voice over commands you have learned by using them in the practice area below. If you need to revisit a lesson, use the go back button. When you're done. Select the continue button on this panel. Voice over on. Voice over quick start. Window. Voice over review. Name. Edit text as keyboard focus. G A L A T A E R. One, two, three, one, two, three. Cities. Gallagher one, two, two, Cupertino, USA. Cities. Menu five. Los Angeles, USA. Closing with password. Password. Set your edit text. We'll just do this again just for the fun of it. Choose a language. Settings. Announce alert messages settings. Aunt language. Speak selected. Speak text under the mouse settings. Aunt continue button. Let us continue. Getting more from your Mac. Congratulations. You have completed the voiceover quick start. Yippee. Now you can use the voiceover commands you have learned to get more out of using your Mac. If you need help using voiceover, press VOH when voiceover is running. You can customize voiceover using voiceover utility. Voiceover utility presents a list of nine categories, from general to braille. To open voiceover utility, Press VOF8 when voiceover is running. To exit the voiceover quick start, press the escape key or select the done button. To revisit panels, select the go back button. Voiceover on. Voiceover quick start. Window. Getting up. Done button. Quick time player. Okay. Now we just did that entire tutorial. I wasn't expecting to that, but I thought... You know, what the heck. And I even navigated around. Actually, I enjoyed putting up this video for you guys. Okay, well. Gallagher, one, two, three, one, two, three.
signing off.